In this example, we're going to compare fractions with the same denominator. Let's read the directions. Shade the following areas representing the fractions using the rectangles below. And we're given the fractions 3 sevenths, 6 sevenths, and 1 seventh. So I'm going to start by labeling them to the right, 3 sevenths, 6 sevenths, and 1 seventh. So the rectangle is our unit, and these are already cut into seven equal pieces. So I'm going to shade from left to right because that will make it easier to compare them. So 3 sevenths would be three of the little rectangles shaded. 6 sevenths would be six out of the seven. And one seventh would be one out of seven. Now in the next question, we're asked to order the numbers from least to greatest by comparing the amount of the unit area shaded. Okay, so let's think about this for a moment. Uh, looking at these, so you want to see which is more or less. So we have least to greatest. So we're ordering these three numbers right here. So maybe you can imagine um, this is some sort of candy bar, okay? And you can think about which would be the least and the most amount of the candy bar, okay? So the shaded part here, one seventh, that would be the least. So that's the smallest. I'll put a comma. The next largest amount would be the three sevenths. And the largest or greatest amount would be six sevenths. Okay. So these three numbers, one seventh, three seventh, and six sevenths, ordered from least to greatest, go in this order. Let's look at the next part. Plot the following fractions on the number line, and we're given a whole bunch of fractions. Label your points below the number line. So here's our number line, and notice they all have the same denominator, and our number line is already broken into six to make this a little bit easier for us. So I'll start with five, six. This is zero. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six. I'll label it underneath. Now we have negative 3, 6. So starting at 0, we're going to go negative 3, 6. So negative 1, 6, negative 2, 6, negative 3, 6. Oh, label it. 1, 6 is our next number. So that's 1, 6 to the right of 0. Then we have 2, 6, 1, 2. And finally, negative one-sixth, which is one-sixth to the left of zero. Now we're asked to use the number line to order the numbers from least to greatest. So remember, just like we did with integers, the same rule applies when you're looking at a number line. To order numbers from least to greatest, the further to the left a number is, it's less than the numbers to its right. Okay, so left to right, these numbers go in the order, negative three-sixths, negative one-sixth, positive one-sixth, two-sixths, and five-sixths. Okay. And again, I like to think of this as distance, okay? 5, 6 is further to the right, okay? Something negative, even though 3, 6 is 1 half, it's in the negative direction. So it's sort of like you're starting 1 half to the left of the starting point from 0. So this is further to the left, so it's less than. So now let's try to use these ideas to make a general rule. And before we go to the next slide, notice a few things. 
For the positive numbers with the same denominator, their numerators are increasing. So the more sixths you have, since all the unit fractions are the same here, one six, two copies of one six, five copies of one six, the more sixths you have, the bigger the number is going to be. Okay. When we're thinking about the negative numbers, okay, uh, the smaller the numerator is, Okay. Actually, the bigger it is comparatively to negative numbers, meaning negative one-sixth is greater than negative three-sixths because it's not as far in the negative direction. Okay. So this is similar to how things worked with negative numbers in general. If we just look at the numerators, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 2, 5, I think you'll agree that these are increasing order, in increasing order from least to greatest. So since they're all written with the same unit fraction, it's going to be the same for these fractions with, written over 6. So let's summarize these in the next slide. If two fractions have the same denominator and the fractions are positive, so notice the things we're requiring here, okay, they have the same denominator, the fractions are positive, then the fraction with the blank numerator is greater. So let's just write two. If we had two positive, three six and five six, well five six is greater, so the one with the larger numerator is greater. If two fractions have the same denominator and the fractions are negative, then the fraction with the blank numerator is greater. So if we had negative 2 6 and negative 5 6, remember this was further to the left on the number line. Okay, so the number with the larger Larger numer numerator is smaller, so the smaller numerator is greater. So here we're comparing 2 and 5. They're both negative, so we're ignoring the negative signs. Just looking at the 2 and 5, 2 will be the larger number. And finally, if one fraction is positive and the other is negative, and notice this didn't say anything about the same denominator, we can always use this, but we'll use a negative and a positive, okay? Well, on the number line, we know the positive is to the right of zero, the negative is to the left of zero, so the positive number, in this case fraction, is always greater.